Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Aquila Dehan, and this is the Lefty Knitter Podcast. And I'm at the Blue Pelican, and this is Jen. She is the owner of the Blue Pelican. And I'm going to let her introduce herself and tell her craft story because she does lots of crafts. I do. <laughs> and have her within that tell us the history of the Blue Pelican. Blue. Bleh. See? Blue Pelican. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we met last year, yep. so. Um, and I know I told you a little bit about my story then, but I grew up here in Hatteras and um, went away to college, wasn't ever coming back, ended up back, worked for a real estate company, started a CPA firm with my mom. Wow. And then realized, that's, yeah, I know. That's a whole nother. Yeah. <laughs> way different brain. Yeah. Um, but then realized that this is actually what I'd rather be doing is making things and creating things. So then my husband, who's the business person of the family decides, well, you need a store. Yeah. And I, so were you selling, were you trying to sell online? A little bit point? online, a little bit wholesale, yeah. you know, trying just kind of ship it out to other stores yeah. down here. Cause I know, I mean, I've been to a lot of stores down here and they carry a lot of different artist work just like you do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of, I guess the thing to do. Right. And so were you trying to do that too? Like a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And doing local shows and like a lot of people yeah. do the local well, craft you shows. You be kind of driving far to do yes. bigger shows, I guess. Yeah. Do they have a lot of bigger um, art shows down here? There's shows? Um, an arts and crafts guild. So they oh. have two large shows every That's year. Cool. Um, they actually are really impressive because I've been to some in some other towns and I'm kind of like, wow, our little town's doing some stuff. Wow, that's awesome. That's <laughs> it's not not really cool. City, but you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, but for being where you are, because it's, I mean, what's kind of the population here? You're in Hatteras Village here, right? right? So yeah. what's like. In the village, probably twelve hundred, but you know, and on they the stay island. year round too. Mm -hmm. About twelve hundred. Wow, yeah, on that's the more island. than I actually thought. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the island, there's probably about six or seven thousand, but with the island seventy five miles long. Yeah, because so. you're including all the way from Duck and Corolla down, mm -hmm. or Rodanthe down. down oh, there. okay. Yeah, yeah I yeah, wasn't yeah. sure what the most north one yeah. was. <laughs> oh, oh, you're only counting Rodanthe down. Yes. Oh, but so yeah. then we're like <laughs> seventy thousand a week in the summer oh, oh. <laughs> so the population goes what's that hundred percent thousand percent seat yeah. I should not be in business for math <laughs> um, but anyway so I just I started with photography and started printing my own pictures and making cards and then I learned about sublimation which lets me put stuff on like mouse pads and coasters and oh glass. I was gonna ask I was like I don't even know what that is yeah <laughs> okay, yeah cool. it's, it's like a um, it's like easiest way to say it, it's like a t-shirt press oh, but it's a special okay. ink that turns into a gas and gets absorbed in whatever you're doing oh, well, with a special coating yeah see math see, chemistry <laughs> art's much see, better you do art and you still need science people yes. just saying <laughs> yeah. um so yeah and then you know what 15 years later i started in 2005 so 14 years later i just find myself here yeah um about five years ago i added yarn just because nobody else on the island had it. No. And like you said, there's lots of little shops. So you're constantly, I don't like to carry the same stuff everybody else does. Yeah, and you go in a lot of these shops and I'm not like poo pooing them mm. at all, but like they carry all the same things. I'm mm -hmm. like, I can walk into three shops in a row and they're all carrying the same t shirt. And I'm right. like, that's no. not what I want. Nope. I want to buy local. I want to buy, you know, handmade and not just shipped in from like, I don't know. There's like a company, like Southern something, that's like a company. Oh, Southern like, Comfort. Or, yeah, something like that. And yeah, it's everywhere. Southern Season, or I yeah. don't know. I don't something. I'm yeah. sorry to all the big corporations. I don't know your name. <laughs> you can tell I'm not so on trend. <laughs> was this building here? The building was. It was built in 1950. So oh, cool. it was a house. Oh. Um, it is neat. I mean, it has lots of rooms. Like yeah. we'll do a little tour. I'll show you. Yeah. So. It's lots of little corridors. Yeah. And, like, you know, there was a living room there and a closet coming out of the bedroom. Oh, you can kind of tell so how we, that would be. Yeah, yeah so we, that's you neat. can see where we cut through doorways w that were there and weren't there and all that kind that's of stuff. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, when I added yarn, I've gotten to meet a lot more really interesting people. I bet. That, that wouldn't necessarily have just come into a gallery, but now, you know, we have yarn on the sign, so I'll, I see people and they're driving they're like, by and they're going, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you know a lot of people yeah. are starting to find me online and, and that yeah so we'll talk about where people can find you but um 
what was the next thing? Uh, so you have a knitting group too. We do. It meets, um, has been meeting every Tuesday morning, had a little hiccup with the um, instructor the last couple oh, of weeks. Gotcha. I wanted to be able to show it to you this Tuesday That's morning. Okay. But yeah. Um, but we'll we'll actually start for the rest of summer we'll be doing it on Wednesdays. Oh. And it's Well that's good to know if you come down, it's yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> Knitting, um, crochet, macrame, weaving. I was gonna ask because you, you were don't like diving into the weaving last yes. summer we were talking about and and god i was looking at some of the weavings I and know. i even had to buy a button yesterday because <laughs> i saw your seahorse on that weaving over uh -huh. there which i'll show because it's really cool <laughs> and i was like i need to add that to my weaving when yeah. i finally make it the, to the kit i mean that kit i still haven't done it it's just really cool <laughs> I used the yarn I made, yeah. the hat already, and that's yeah. done, but yeah. yeah. You can never, you, you buy more than you can keep up with right. when you're crafting. I right. feel like yeah. just, it's overabundance, but well, I think it's a whole other hobby. <laughs> yeah, buying crafts and making crafts are two totally yeah. different things. They, it's yep. not even the same skill set, you yeah. know. But especially down here, and where a lot of people live in rural, rural areas, you know, if you don't have it, you don't have it. And you get inspired, you need to be able to walk in that other room and grab something. <laughs> True. Yeah, you go, wait, I knew I bought some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. So you do resin too, I which do. Yeah. is amazing. I just have to say. Like, Thank you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's that, beautiful. That's probably my favorite medium right now. Yeah. And I just kind of, I, I don't know, got into it a little sideways. It's, it's really popular now. It wasn't four or five years ago when yeah. I started. It goes in waves, I think. A yeah. lot of times you'll see a lot of it and then it's mm -hmm. none. And then you see, and like, because that's a whole two-step process, right? right? With resin, it's mm -hmm. like the epoxy and, yeah. the, and then you're adding stuff to it and right yeah colorants and additives and all that kind of yeah. stuff and the um but now in the last like five years or so they've come out with ones that are approved by the fda to be food safe and they're oh. not after the initial like 20 seconds of working with it it's not toxic the fumes oh. don't bother wow. you yeah yeah so, so it's improved it's yeah. gotten better yeah like because i know with yarn dying too it's just to wear the mask and mm -hmm. so you're probably doing that way mm -hmm. in the beginning with yeah. all that yeah mm -hmm. so and so you have to do a little metal work yeah with because you make the jewelry the mm -hmm. earrings the the wave necklaces which i gotta show you those <laughs> um so did you just dive right into that too and we're like i'm gonna um kind of yeah. yeah i just kind of look around and i go oh this would be cool to make and then i just i'll go source whatever products i can source and whatever i can't find i'll try to figure out how to yeah. make so That's, it's just crazy yeah. but I, I just can't even imagine i mean i would love to be like i'm gonna own a store like this and but i'm oh, sure yeah. well you know <laughs> I wouldn't want to compete with you with yarn. I'm just saying. Oh, no. But, I'm saying partner up. Oh. <laughs> you done. You're first. Done. <laughs> John would move down here in a heartbeat. Yeah. He was like, you could find a job. And I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah. And he's like, do you not see all this big equipment? Because I could find a job because he's a parts manager for right. big equipment. And mm -hmm. you see all the cranes because they're always doing something. Like they just finished the bridge, I guess. Right. Now they're taking the bridge down. The yeah. old bridge down. That's and there's another confusing. bridge coming into Rodanthe that they're doing, that too. and oh. yeah, there's going to be something all the time. Yeah, so it's crazy. Always. And <laughs> plus, you know, it's job security. They're sand yeah. on the road every time the wind blows, so they got to get the tractors out and bulldozers down. <laughs> now you're on. You live on the sound side, I'm assuming, because mm -hmm. when you watch her Instagram stories, you see all these beautiful <laughs> videos mm -hmm. of sunsets and sunrises, and mm -hmm. so are you in Hatteras Village then too? Oh, cool. Right. Yeah. 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 So, um, I'm just uh, maybe a little less than a mile. Wow. Down, That's really the nice. Bank and the grocery store. Yeah. So. Wow. Because yeah. I we haven't like I mean I know there's lots of little side roads all over mm -hmm. and uh, I have a lot of them are residential. You're not driving down to see to go right. to a restaurant or a store because mm -hmm. that's just not how it is. So. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know what else. I, we're winging this, yeah. so and sorry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't didn't do a list of questions. We just mm -hmm. figured we'd talk and then do a tour and show you some stuff. So, you started bringing in when you first opened. You started bringing in all the other artists' stuff too. Um, yes, I had some close friends that I would sell stuff for. Mm -hmm. um, one in particular who kind of got me into the business, and then his wife at the time 
you know, it was, it was kind of two or three or four of us maybe at, at the beginning. Yeah. And then we've branched out quite a bit. The coolest compliment now is that people are finding me and calling me. And I'm having to tell people no, which I really despise that part. To, like, ship stuff out to sell at other stores? Or no, mean? no, but to sell... Uh to sell other artists stuff in here I have to oh, I accept a lot yeah but I have to turn people down if I don't think I can sell it yeah um, well it's, it's your business and you, you have yeah. to make the money and if you don't think it's gonna sell I mean that's right. every business like and, yeah it doesn't help them either the, yeah the artists if their stuff sitting in here and yeah, they're not reordering it's not, it then yeah it's not helping anybody about how many different artists do you feel like you have Probably Eight. close to 50 now. Wow. Yeah. I guess I never even realized. But when you walk in, there's all different stuff. So mm -hmm. it, it is like a all different things that you can buy. Right. So, I mean, how many are local? Um, I would say there's probably about 10 of us. Um, there's one other. Uh, Antoinette Mattingly owns Kenny Key Clay Works in Avon. I don't know if you've been uh, there. No, we haven't. You can go there but and I take think pottery I've... classes. Awesome. I would love to do that. <laughs> I'd love to do all the things crafty, yes. but yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, too bad you can't just come stay, you know, know, for a like a whole weeks. month. <laughs> yeah, a whole month. Um, I but, definitely couldn't get off work for that. <laughs> yeah, she sells, um, we sell her ornaments, but then, you know, just looking around, which we'll show you in a minute, you know, I can see there's a potter from Greenville. Um, who's a chemistry teacher, the Raku pottery up on the top oh, shelf. Yeah. And she likes to just play around with different reactions because oh. that's what she does. She's a, a chemistry professor actually at a community college, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, sure. that's cool. And, um, and a potter on the side. And then, you know, we've got the local sea salt. And then yeah. we've got cookbooks by another artist. Yeah, you and carry then, everything. Yeah. So where's your furthest artist? Um, you sell from? Washington State. Oh, wow. So um, she makes these raku fish that oh, you'll actually have to show me that uh, we'll, we'll go around I, yeah. yeah we'll have to see them all well hopefully oh. they'll be coming off the fedex truck today oh, so because you need more <laughs> yes, <we laughs> they sell out. pretty good <laughs> yes so if people want to find you where um, can they find you uh facebook under blue pelican gallery instagram uh obx blue pelican yep. and then um bluepelicangallery.com which I've so. bought some stuff off their website <laughs> and you should do that and I even like repost when you're like uh -huh. I'm having a sale and I was like yeah. oh she's having a sale on earrings I'm gonna yeah. buy some up for Christmas presents well, because yeah. it was it's perfect it yeah. works out you get like you know another small present and the pair of earrings or a necklace mm -hmm. and it's like it's just enough to yeah. give to somebody and it's somebody really and then something for you too if you time it right <laughs> I never change my earrings. I'm a terrible. I I have all the weird whatever. So, but yeah. necklaces and bracelets. I mm -hmm. had I I had your bracelet on. I took it off and then I forgot to put that one back on. That's funny. <laughs> she hand stamped a bracelet for me last last summer. Yes. If I'm sitting, I'm knitting. That's what it said. Which I <laughs> think is awesome. Yeah. That will be on a coaster, and I will send you the initial. Uh, the, the first press run of those actually i would hook you up with a whole set of them so oh boy um that'd be awesome like this this holds our ceiling fan remote um <laughs> because that's what mugs are for but like this is the sublimation oh, process cool. so um this mug has a polymer coating so i print this out on special paper special printer mm -hmm. and then put it in a heat wrap and oh. this one's inside the oven but you can get presses just yeah. for mugs so that's just if you need me i'll be unwinding on the outer banks oh that's so cute <laughs> i saw your other one over there with the license plates mm -hmm. on it oh and my I was gosh like, i need that yeah, one i, I need that, that one, one this year <laughs> like i have to have it and i usually don't buy mugs but I might yeah have to buy. yeah i love that one and a couple others we actually um i found um, a lady came in just shopping for yarn and said, oh, you need to call my friend who distributes this and that and the other. Oh. And so I called her and all these cute little mugs and yeah. we've been trying to find more gift stuff, but yeah, you, know. you can only carry so much. I mean, I you can't, you don't want it to be like so stocked full that it's overwhelming to people because mm -hmm. then it's it's so overwhelming people are trying to just like ah. yeah they don't want to you know people don't dig through stuff and right like there there's stores you go in and it's like that and it's i just don't even want to be in there it's like no. it's almost like a, a crowded store because you're just you don't want to be around all the like 
people either. Yeah. Like I, I'm like, mm, nope, too yeah. many people. Let's go. <laughs> no. We'll come back and yeah. try this. And that's actually, you know, it's funny um, being a vacation area. You know, a couple things with the store that makes it weird is one, I never know who's going to walk in my door. That's so true. Every single week, there's a whole new batch of potential customers, or just I don't, I don't love retail, so I'd rather just give everything away if I could. But I'm <laughs> but not you allowed can't do to that. do that. No, this is business, and you have to make money. So yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but you know, people at least that are going to come in and look, and we see a lot of people. When they check in Saturday, Sunday, yeah. and then they'll come in Monday, and they'll just look around, and their eyes are always going like this, because yeah. we do actually kind of have stuff floor to ceiling. <laughs> yeah, but it's not so. It's not yeah overwhelming. Though. Yeah. I mean, it could be. Oh, but it, it if you didn't have enough stuff, then it's underwhelming, and then people are like, nah, right? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't need to go back. But what most people come back like. Like I did. think we came back three times yes, <laughs> the last you. time. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I guess let's give them a... Okay. A, I'm going to pause it. and then, Well, you guys won't even know that I paused it because it'll just clip to the uh -huh. next clip. So, <laughs> we could be gone ten minutes and you wouldn't even know. All right. So. <laughs> okay. So, we are in the one of two yarn rooms, right? Yes. Yeah. So, this was actually the second room when we first started. We'll go into the room that we started with next and I barely had that full of yarn yeah. at all and I didn't know what gauge was I didn't know I couldn't tell you a knit stitch how or long have you been stitch, knitting um since after I put yarn in the oh. store <laughs> <laughs> they have a little winding station yes. we were just sitting right here so yeah so we try to do samples to show people what they can do with each of the yarns um, we have a few looms just because we have people who come down and learn. Yeah, um, I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's, it is nice to have the samples so people can see. Mm -hmm. And you guys make up a lot of kits. We do. We do because being on vacation, people will go, oh, I'm going to the beach. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm going to take all my yarn. But then they get here and they realize that they're so chilled out and happy that mm -hmm. they just want to make something pretty. <laughs> Try not to give people motion sickness. <laughs> Here's the mug I was just talking about so people can see. Look at it. Oh, yes. <laughs> it might not. My phone. I'm recording with a phone. It doesn't always focus. But you guys know that already. Yeah. All right. I'll spin slowly. So, yeah. One thing that makes us different, we make a bunch of our buttons. Well, I. These are actually made with resin and different colorants and you know, I like to do. Lately, I've been doing stuff that. Isn't oh, I love just beach these. Themed. Yeah. So, like, we've got you know the little cat with the hole in his nose. Oh, <laughs> yeah. One of the ones I bought was from down here. Hazel had to have one too, and she goes, "Well, now you need to make me a hat." Oh. <laughs> so put it on. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just one of the things. That's actually where it started with the resin. Was oh, okay. Buttons. buttons. Um, there's some weaving. Sorry, mm -hmm. the sun's coming in kind of behind behind everything yeah, there. it's kind of hard to see. And then, over. and we are, we're kind of in a mess. We're always in a mess, actually, Aww. because we're always moving something moving. Yeah. from one place to another. So, yep. I love I love your um, crochet hook mm -hmm. setup. I, I think that's just adorable. Yes. And I, then some notions. I wish my whole studio looked like that. I know. With everything in the yeah. jars. Yeah. All right, I'm going <laughs> to spin back around, y'all. Spinning back around. And then, yeah, you have more of your crochet hooks, but some of those look like they're handmade, like they're glass or? Um, actually, some of them are resin. Oh, okay. Um, some wood, they're all different. So, it's like the Noro of... wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, my dad designed this shelf, and a friend of his helped him build it. I it's love awesome. Because it, it just it fits together, almost mm -hmm. like a um, box that you would put candles oh, and yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Um, so, and More kits. Yeah. Love those. Yeah, the kits those, are nice. Those are for these. Um, they're really pretty without the plastic. But these oh, cute yeah. little bags. And it's so quick because mm -hmm. it's that thick yarn. Right. Yeah. So, and when we do kits that we make up the pattern, we try to do a knit one and then there's a crochet one. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm, there, so. I'm really flying around here, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm showing you. <laughs> And another, mm -hmm. I love the, those are nice mm -hmm. to have. A lot of yarn shops carry them, like, have their yarn in and stuff like those. Mm -hmm. So it's nice that you can be yeah. able to display it. Yeah. All right, now I'll go backwards. Look, you can make yourself a top. Yes, or that one's <laughs> actually, um, that's 
done by Beach Textiles by Brenda, and she actually oh. will custom make them. Wow! So you you can couldn't pick out your yarn color and she, your cup size. Oh. And she'll make it for you. Because <laughs> some of the ones she makes wouldn't fit me. <laughs> and I bought a pom pom yesterday, uh -huh. too. And then you have some books and some magazines. Yeah. All right, let's get into the art gallery okay. stuff. Sorry, we're spinning around again. <laughs> yeah. So, this is um, actually, this is the weaving that I've done since oh, nice. I met you last time. So, I weave the fabric. Mm hmm. Um, that's you know just a big flat piece of fabric and then I send it to South Carolina to my cousin Diane and she cuts it up and sews it and puts wow. these little embellishments on it. And Your little resin buttons? Yeah. Look how cute. It's a yarn skein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Or she'll make fabric embellishments oh, or yeah. whatever and she's made things that would hold like crochet hooks or notions. Very and nice. Kind of things. So, yeah. And then the rest of this room would be pottery all over the walls, but um, right now we're out of it. Still That's okay. It to come in. I have to show the jellyfish because <laughs> I love those. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot of fun. I have leftover resin when I make stuff, and so they're so cool. I took some um, sea urchins for some of them and made molds out of them. Yeah, they're so much fun, and then. Yeah, always having sales sale. stuff. Yeah, we've always got lots of sales stuff just because when we get down to one or two of something, it won't, won't sell anymore. Yeah, and so that makes we sense. Have to kind of move it through the inventory. Yep. But this is some of the resin stuff that I've been doing. You've seen her that acrylic I pouring. Love that. Yeah. So That's really interesting. I have been playing with resin pouring. Yeah, I love that. And. Uh, and then so, some yeah. photography. This is all yours too, right? Yes. Yes. That is mine and yep. my cards. And these cute little bags. That I saw those. In. How for like carrying your shells yes. around the beach. And There's that one that's like a like a shoulder bag, yeah. I guess. And, and then, then the little wristlet one. Oh my gosh. Whatever. How that, cute is that? Or if you had um some purse oh, or something, it on. you can hook it yeah. on. Yeah. But then you just rinse it off when Very you're done, cool. and your shells aren't all seen. Love it. Love it. So, uh, <laughs> and then we have some really attractive customers right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, so, you make yeah. these ornaments too. That's Look how cute these are. Yeah, so, it has some papers, some resin, some wood, some real shells. Baby, put that back, please. All are different kinds of something? stamped um, yeah, they're really messages cool. and that kind okay, of stuff. Okay, look at this wave, guys. <laughs> like, these are the coolest. I'm sorry. <laughs> so much fun. So, I could leave it here for a dance. Yeah, and this, the uh, um, play ornaments here are by my friend that I talked to about. Oh, yeah. And Kenny Kate Clay. Oh, those so, are really cool. Um, she does a lot of different things. We have jewelry made. Um, Miss Mary Durani brought us, Durant brought this to us um, on her 95th birthday. Wow. She just made it in the last couple wow. months, and she is 95 years old. That <laughs> is amazing. Yes, and I, she's had a stroke in one eye, and she's still doing that. That is tiny beadwork. Yes. That's really tiny. Yes. Not fun. No. <laughs> Here's the little stamped bracelets mm -hmm. that I had talked about, and you can get all kinds of different things stamped on them. Mm -hmm. The dune jewelry, which is really cool. It's sand from Hatteras, right? I mean, yes. Yeah, so um, I send the sand to a company. Um, to Dune Jewelry, who actually, they're the original company. I think there's two or three others that might be trying the same thing at this point, but they're the original one. Yeah, here's your little so. mini earrings, which I think are the cutest. Yeah. In all different colors, the whole, they're all resin, and this is the metal work with the resin, and that's just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine, like, just teaching myself. I mean, I taught myself to knit. I guess I could yes, teach myself anything, knit. right? Yes, and YouTube is very helpful with that, too. YouTube, so. see? YouTube. <laughs> and then, yeah, more jewelry. Mix and match jewelry and stuff, pockets, yeah. Um, and still more jewelry. I know. <laughs> more stuff. And more incoming yarn. And actually, Ooh. crochet's coming back. That, yes, it is. So That's finally, really cool. I have a sample 
that's crochet. I love that. Almost all my samples are knit. I can't crochet. Yeah. Um, oh, so you had to outsource some crochet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is a new, brand new yarn that just came out. Again, those wait. I love them. I love the double. I think that is the coolest. That's so neat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, <laughs> alpaca. <laughs> All right, more jewelry, more yarn, more resin, mm -hmm. and there's more jellyfish. Yes. More jellyfish. And that wall will have more cards. Unfortunately, we were almost completely out. They brought us some yesterday morning, so wow. that's part of my job. Having been out of town now for a week, there's all kinds of things that say Jen put me in the computer. <laughs> yeah, so. there's some awesome stuff. These are really cute too. Somebody yes. local makes these. Um, actually, they're in Wilmington. Oh, cool! But, um, it's the artist's original designs, and he screen prints them. Yeah. And they also have a hand in the glass draws. Which oh really yes, I saw them right yesterday. So. More resin. Yeah, and then soaps, and are you making the... I am not. Oh. Um, there's a girl named Jennifer Hayden, and she found me online, and says, hey, oh, cool. I make washcloths, and this is what I sell them for, and I went, hmm, I can't buy the yarn for that. I don't know how you do it, but yeah. she must find every sale, and it's, I think this is her fun, this is not her real... You know not her I mean? full-time job? Yeah, not... Not a real Candles. Problem. So you can you can get everything here, y'all. <laughs> everything. So and then the shell. Oh, I love these. And that's picked up. Um, she only uses shells from here. And she picks oh, everywhere. Wow. She has big vats of each color. Oh yeah, because she has to shell. separate it by color. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too cool. So and like the brown ones, she'll you know you'll see all these shells when oh, you're yeah. walking down the beach but you won't really notice because you're and you're not always picking up the pieced ones mm -hmm. you know so like this is all grays i mean that is amazing yeah so that one's some amazing cool oyster shells and another okay. mermaid people love mermaids oh yes and here's our this is the happy oh my fish. gosh so, so that's what you're waiting on more of. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is cool. And he's all by himself. They have five or six different expressions. They're really cute. And um, when we have them all hanging from the ceiling, <laughs> people, people, people bought them. Start making cool. their faces. Like oh, I bet. Try to make the same smiley <laughs> face the fish is making. And then there's the one <laughs> more room that we... Yeah. So this is where you have like your knit group when people that's come? correct. Or stash the yarn that I haven't put into the system yet. <laughs> now are those the coasters you're talking about? Heat the heat press thing? Yes. Oh okay. Yes. And then some more photography. Mm -hmm. And that's it's all I love the display for those. Yeah, thank you. I that I've had for a really long time. That's really cool. <laughs> I love this picture. Me I was too talking to my husband about it yesterday because it's just the neatest it's just sea glass right yes it is it's just a stack of sea glass where the sun is right there coming through the oh back my gosh. of it yeah and um, mark slagle is the artist he's the one he makes the sea glass jewelry out front and the uh, surf wood and surf glass necklaces. cool and um, he had set that up and couldn't get the lighting right couldn't get the lighting right and finally just walked away and came back and it looked like that. wow so yeah, that, and then, I, I find that's when I walk away from things a lot. Of you kind of have to come back. Yeah. You have to come back to it. Mm -hmm. This is all, now this is the pottery, some of the stuff you were talking about. Yes. In the so earlier video that's too. The, um, this is the Raku, okay. horse hair Raku pottery. So that's actually, the design is made with actual horse hair that burns off. Um, wow. So, she does like to experiment yes, with she stuff. she does. She does. So she tries all different kinds of like, I can't figure this out at all, but somehow it's glazes, but it looks like it's about, you know, glass about that deep with all different kinds of layers. Yeah, it's hard to pick that up in the video, mm -hmm. but uh, in person, if you saw it, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine photographing that to sell is really hard. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so that was very good. And this is what you said. Oh, about yeah. I had to, here's the seahorse the, on the weaving that I was inspired by. <laughs> So. I told John, I was like, we have to pick up some driftwood before we go home because oh, yes. I want to hang mine on driftwood too. Yes, absolutely. So there's like sea salts and spices. That's cool. Wood burned wood spoons. Yeah, I saw some of those on this other side yes, too. Yes, yes. We're going to do a quick turn. Ready, y'all? <laughs> All right. So, 
and then this is another potter. This is Vic Lowe, and she's actually, oh, well, these are by the same people that do the um, bottle cap openers. Oh, cool. Um, this They're is, really cute. Yeah, this is a local artist who's actually originally from England. And wow. she has had her art on, like, Pure One dishes and most recent. Wow. I don't want to say which one it was because now I can't remember for sure. <laughs> but That's okay. Lots of the big retail yeah. stores. Um, so these are all pillowcases. They're oh, like these this are size? actually napkins. Oh, they're napkins. Yeah, so oh, they're cool. I need to open them up because nobody can actually tell. What they are. Um, well, you know. And, and how big they are. Because look at that. That's huge. That is a huge napkin. Whoa. So, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool, though. So is it like screen printed uh -huh. i guess they're really yep. neat so and it's the same artist with the bottle openers and that's the glass cool straws. i love those yes and they're really soft actually i don't usually have art in my house but somebody came in one time when they were staging my house for some pictures oh. and they got a set of these and that's <laughs> <laughs> and then here's some of your photography mm -hmm. on on like greeting cards yes yeah yeah or you can you know Actually, I yeah, you could you frame it. You put three in a frame, but we've sold all. Oh, like a like a triptych type. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then this pottery, and yes. there's more of those spoons. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And this is a local person. This is um, not local. No, this is not um, local. This is actually made in Somerville, South Carolina. Wow. Um, this is made in the mountains of North Carolina. Wow. Um, this is an artist who used to live in Durham, North Carolina, who's now in Virginia. She likes, she has a very, um, Oh yeah, look at that. The barnacle glaze. That's really neat. So, yes. And then this is, um, another woman who was doing pottery part-time, um, but now she's going back to work as a, uh, RN, so she hadn't been able to do much wow. in a long time. But, and then there's yarn kits in the making and... Yep. Just all kinds of And that's the room we stuff. just, we started in. Yes. So we've so done a full circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the closet we talked about. There we go. Well, thank you. Well, thank you so much. And go check out uh, Jen on all the social media websites and watch for her sales because she sends out good sales to thank pick up you. some stuff. <laughs> and you'll ship pretty much oh, yeah. everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.